Breaking right now, dozens of firefighters are still putting out the hot spots at a fire that's been burning for hours at a Whitewater Township RV and boat storage facility. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Audley is live in Whitewater Township this morning with the very latest. Madeline, you've been staying on top of this for us. We appreciate it. What's the latest? Kristen, well, first, just to give you some perspective, all of this is taking place right across from the Whitewater Crossing Church that many of you might know in this area. Crews here on scene are moving now into the fourth hour of this firefight. They're still working to get those flames out. And what they're really focused right now is just making sure that this structure does not collapse. What you can see here behind me is just various storage units that have been burning throughout the morning. This is a business called Premier RV and Boat Storage. And what the Whitewater Township Fire Chief tells us is it's not just the structure that's been on fire, but it's actually RVs and boats that have been burning too. The chief tells us more than 75 firefighters have been called in to help here, and these crews are coming in from different area fire departments, including some in Indiana. He told us these crews still don't know what caused the fire, but he says calls started coming in right around 445 AM. And we spoke to one man who lives in this area. He says his dog started barking in the middle of the night. He woke up and he just couldn't believe what he was seeing. There was popping, explosions, and then it sounded like um, fireworks or gunfire, or you know, that's it was pop, 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 you know. So I, I assume those may have been fireworks. I don't know, but uh, like I said, it was pretty intense. Now, we asked the Whitewater Township Fire Chief about what those sounds could have been. He says what that man was hearing was actually propane tanks that you typically see inside those RVs. Another important thing to note, especially if you live in this area, this will likely impact your morning commute today. The 128 is actually closed now in both directions, roughly from Island Drive to Single Tree Drive. Crews here say they expect to be in this area for much of the rest of the day. Of course, as we start to get some of our questions answered throughout the day, we'll bring you the latest both live on air throughout the afternoon as well as online at WCPO.com. For now, reporting live in Whitewater Township, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.